Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jump. Basically, you start out with massive amounts of data. You say, how are we going to analyze this? Well, let's fire up a pivot table and see if we can solve this problem. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. We're going to revisit episode 1016 and 1026. It seems like this comes up every two weeks. Had great emails from both Tom and Thor with an Excel 2003 solution, how to get this area chart to not go over to zero in September and May. And it is really very, very clever what they did. We have to put a really large negative number in here. So minus, I'll just go with uh, 100,000. And then also down here in the two months that we want to be zeros. Now initially the chart looks horrible, but check this out when we right click format access and I'm going to override the scale. I'm not going to let it be automatic. I'm going to put a minimum of zero and the maximum of 6,000 in 1,000 unit increments. Click OK. Check it out. There it is. Now it is just slightly diagonal, um, but because we have a really, really, really large number down there, it straightens out. And so you can actually uh, kind of experiment here. I mean, actually, really at minus 6,000, uh, the thing starts to look pretty straight, but you can go as, as large as you want, negative. Uh, to try and straighten that out and a uh, very clever solution there in Excel 2003. Now, as I mentioned back in 1016, this issue is irrelevant in Excel 2007 because they automatically make those head straight for the bottom axis. There you have it. Thanks to Tom and thanks to Thor. I'll be sending them both Excel master pins for their uh, great solution to this problem. Thanks to you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.